My name is Dr. Gotham Deshpande. I'm a professor of general internal medicine at Juntendo University in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm here today with Dr. Fumio Omata, lead author on our recently published paper, Non-Effectiveness of Scopalamine for Facilitating Upper Gastrointestinal Neoplasia in Screening Esophagastroduodenoscopy. Welcome, Dr. Omata. Thank you for introducing me and uh, uh, collaborating with me. It's my pleasure. I'm Dr. Omata, a clinical professor of research center and also a vice chief of gastroenterology division in St. Luke's International University. Uh, Dr. Omata, can you tell the audience, uh, why did you do this study? What were your motivations? The reason why uh, we did this study was because we have used a uh, tremendous amount of scopolamine for a long time without any established evidence. In addition, we have had a critical uh, side effect of scopolamine, such as death, uh, recently. Uh, those cases were reported in the Japanese Drug Adverse Event Database. Those facts shocked us and motivated us to do this research. I see. Can you tell the audience a little bit about uh, the study design and the patient population we chose? In this case, we felt it difficult to conduct randomized control trial because we need so many study population. Sure. We chose propensity score matched design using uh, individuals who underwent uh, screening endoscopy uh, in our institution. The study population included more than 40,000 individuals. That's a large population. Uh, can you tell the audience uh, what were the main results? What did you find? We found that 95% confidence interval of uh, odds ratio of scopolamine for detecting uh, upper gastrointestinal neoplasia such as gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, gastric adenoma, and duodenal adenoma uh, crossed one, which means that scopolamine uh, was not significantly effective for detecting these neoplasia. Great. Uh, and in conclusion, uh, what are your closing rem remarks uh, about this paper? In conclusion, we could uh, show the non-effectiveness of scopolamine for facilitating detection of uh, gastrointestinal neoplasia. Therefore, we should hold to use this medicine, especially in screening settings. Very important stuff, especially uh, with how frequently it's being uh, used here in Japan. And we'd like to thank the editors of Endoscopy for publishing our paper. Thank you for inviting us for video interview.